Welcome back to Elden Ring. Today, we're going to be delving into Liurnia. There's a lot that we missed in here, and there's a lot to behold in here as well. In the swamps or the yeah. Liurnia itself? Oh, in the swamps, in the caves on the on the opposite sides of it, there's three towers that we got to check out. Mm. We got to go into Raya Lucaria itself. There's this lady over here we can talk to. Hi. Hello. Is someone there? Hello. My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so But bold, you're blind. Oh, you wait. Should be really great in your possession to me. Oh. My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Yeah, okay, lady. Here, have a great eyeball. Many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are as I eat this squishy grape. <coughs> oh, it's just an eye. All right. Oh, a little, little bow as well. Hell can yeah. We, yeah, can we try that out? Oh, sure. I, I kind of want to see our tarnish do that. Okay. Uh, it's, it's over here, gestures. Switch and then where it's set. Oh, there it is. Uh, right next to the bow, actually. Uh, as there you as you wish. As you wish. Oh, that's lovely. We All can, right, we can be a finger maiden, no problem. So, remember our guy Thops over at the church? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Needs an academy uh key. The academy key, yeah. He, he, he needs a... No, he needs an, an academy key. Oh, an academy key. key to okay. Rai Lucaria. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's oblige him. Okay. Okay. We're gonna be heading back to Rai Lucaria to do a little bit of graduate work, as I uh, prefer to call it. We're gonna graduate? There are three things we need to do here. Uh, let's see... Alright. First place will be at the schoolhouse classroom. I think. I hope they have catapults so we can see some actual schoolhouse rocks. Um, no. My bad. <laughs> uh, I think it's by the church, I think. Church of Chickens? It's by the graveyard. Well, we got into the academy. Yeah, this is the place we go to run towards the, uh... Oh, yeah. Ooh. Wow. Tor towards the big water wheel. They really want to give you a hug. They really want to do this. They really want to give you a hug. More than anything, I'd say. Free glomping, sir. Get away! Is nobody feeding that hellhound? How dare? Oh, it's gonna be—it's gonna be eating us. I don't want that. There oh, is. hello. Hidden behind here. Let me take care of these guys. Nice. Well, I could probably take care of them pretty easily if I just give a little bit of this. Hey, does anyone smell diamond dust? Oh, I think I do, Frank. It actually smells... Oh, wow. It's, it smells like my arteries are getting shredded alive. Does anybody else... Ah! Oh, that guy... Oh, oh, dear. Oh, I thought he actually died. <laughs> well, uh... So, uh... Hi, everybody. We came here for the Carrion Night set. A lot of good stuff. So not... Carrion... Carrion. Carrion. For, for, for the Carrion Knight. It was uh, probably like some big Carrion Knight uh, kind of kind of fella kind of guy, you know? Maybe he was important. Maybe he meant something to this academy. Maybe he too was a tarnished who tried to set the world right. Can you imagine if he was a vulture with luggage? I can't It'd be imagine. Carrion. A <laughs> Carrion with a carry-on. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. My transgressions. What if there was like a period of like 1500 years where everybody gave a shit? <laughs> uh, I would. It's, it's a, a historical moment in time where compassion was just through the roof. Like, ridicu ridiculously. You know, wonderful and amazing, and everyone just loved each other, and it was it was great. That'd be awesome. It would be the carry on. Oh, that, oh, that's actually really good. 
Uh, that's not, that's not. What else is still chasing me? You had to, like, finagle it a little bit, but it still worked. A little bit of finagling, a little bit of, uh, saying it right. A whole eon of care? Well, that's a lot. Hi, Nosferatu. You know what, just... I think I already made that joke when we first saw this guy. Perhaps. Tall, dark, and lanky. Woo! Oh, that wow, that- th Oh, that hurt. Ow. Jesus. Dick. Wow. Whoa! Oh. That is rude. You, sir, are rude. He just right. decked you in the face! This guy's being absolutely cruel. Damn it! No! Yeah, well, he was. Fine. Fuck it. We got what we came here for anyway. We got the Carrion Knight set. Excellent. What does that stuff do? It's just cool and nice armor for this part of cool, the game, I stuff. suppose. But I, I don't think we have the, uh, the chops to wield it right now. Let's find out. Well, let's see. Ah, uh, well. No. Yes. Is it all, like, as the... No. Is it too heavy, or...? It, it's, it's just too heavy. We need to get you our... Buff up your nice and strong before we can hold that? Get a little buff, yeah. All right, so... Got that good armor set that'll keep us going for a little while. Don't know why I sat down, because we need to go somewhere else. Head into the debate parlor for a couple of extra things. I uh, can't believe it, but I missed it during editing. Mm -hmm. There was a shortcut that I didn't get to. Oh my gosh. Was it extremely obvious, or...? Sort of. I mean, if, if you would have spent a bit more time around here, instead of just uh, kind of speed running through it like we are, probably would have figured it out, but just kind of jump over here. Ah. Uh... Hey, you're not supposed to be here! Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> this is a restricted area! He tried to hit you with a book. Hilarious. And we can open up this door here. There we go. Hey! That is actually a lot better. Might as well take care of this guy, and might as well take care of the other thing we need to get while we're here, too, because that is also nearby. You know what? You know what? Okay, 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 what? okay, okay! Oh God damn it! Jesus! You did not give me any time to to think. No time at all. You asked, you know what, and it responded, yeah, bet. Uh, I know, I know what now. Matter of fact, I know what now. Then more than I know what then was now. Yep. You know what? What for? <laughs> well, then we'll just very quickly get the thing that we need because it's just. Close Just by. bolt. Yeah, might as well. Nobody actually fights the enemies in these games. They just run past them. No way. Not if you know what you're doing. Bosses only. All right. I think it's this way. E no. E Almost though. Ah, crap! Get out of here. Crabs, iron virgins, and scholars thinking that they can find salvation in the dirt somewhere around here. This place is this place is shit. Do they just bathe themselves in dirt? Is that how they find their salvation? Maybe they like it. Don't judge. Well, I'm gonna judge them. I mean, have you seen these big nerds? These, these crabs. Don't judge the crabs, man. Okay, I won't judge the crabs. I'll judge the scholars who think that dirt is the only way to go. I could have sworn you've already been here. To get a thing. I didn't get the thing I needed. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. You are very big and peach. Yes, ve ve very bad, very angy. Okay, I think that's it over there. Because there's a guy in front of it. Ah. It's this guy over here. Oh, it's a crab! And it hurts! He drops the Carlos Glintstone crown! We're just doing a cosmetic run. See how many different cosmetics we can get. We need this for something later. So, this ups your intelligence, but lowers your HP. Yeah. We won't be needing that, though. We'll just stick with uh, the Banished Knight Helm. 
Yeah, that's... that's doing good work. Hello, sir. I was hoping you could actually blend in with the rest of the mages around here. Hello, fellow mage. No, but it does make for a good cosplay moment, I'm sure. Alright, that guy's not looking. Oh, we can even get our drop souls, too. And slip. Restricted area! Oh! Thank you. He almost looks like the Burger King. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. There we go. Well, j just think they're learning so much about magic that uh, their brains are turning to rock. That's the explanation behind them? Well, some of them learn so much magic their entire bodies turn to stone. Now, those are masks, though. But, uh, those stones coming up top of their heads, uh, well... That's the cost of learning magic in this realm? Oh, well, yeah. Because the stones, like, come from stars and all that. And you, uh, commit yourself to knowledge in the stone to learn the magic, but... You know. Ooh! Uh -huh. Our message was appraised. Ah, uh, people like the fingers. Fingers? I got a- I got an arrow in my back. I wonder if that's any of you that are watching this. If you were in charge of the appraisal, thank you. Oop. Much appreciated. God damn, my fucking ladder. God. Okay. I'm glad wetness doesn't factor in when climbing ladders. Don't give them the idea. Fromsoft, call me. I've got some ideas that'll really piss off your players. Here's one. Was one. Any other tricks you want to try, you son of a bi- oh. oh, that's what we need, another one of those things. Yeah, another gargoyle. Alright, you, like... Stop. Just, just stop. And you, also stop. Please just quit. What are you doing? No, don't. I'm gonna need all of you to just take a second and don't. All right, got cuckoo glint stone, crystal darts, bunch of throwable items we'll never use because I never use these things. Better in PvP, to be honest. Nobody sees them coming. Meteor bolt. I can kind of see that going into battle against another player and they just throw a rock at you or something like that. Did, what the? Did you just throw a rock at? Ow! I, did you throw another one at me? And then the magic bolts start happening. <laughs> yeah, how do you get that? Hmm. Hmm. Jumping. Oh, I. D <sighs> yeah, good joke. I totally would have fallen for that. <laughs> oh, always, always gullible. I fall for every for everything too. Like not so much from other players, but if devs lay a trap for me, I will probably definitely fall for it. The best laid traps are the ones you don't see coming. I got kind of glitched into the geometry. Yeah, a I know. Bit. He's he's gonna be there for a while. Okay, some good gold runes. I about jump there. Uh, don't, please, no. Drop right here. <laughs> really wouldn't like to run this all the way back again. That'd be preferable. Oh, there's a ladder. Yes, there is. But why? Imbued sword key! Well, that's a good one. That was worth it, actually, yeah. Alright. Item ahead. There's a water wheel. Ooh. Oh. Good smithing stone. Well, as long as it's useful. Man, every time you jump, I just kind of shiver a little bit because it, it looks kind of jank. I know it isn't, and I know you no, know what it's, you're doing. No, it's, it's, it's a little jank. I'm, like... If like, you if you think if you think it's jank, you're you're okay in believing that, because it probably is. Like I but see you but just know this is the best it's ever been. I, I see you jumping forward and 
it's like to the wrong forward you were aiming for, if that makes sense. You just gotta get used to it. I think the jump feels great. That's just because I've been playing since Dark Souls 1. And where the jump is always, like, during the run, you have to, like, hold circle to run and then hit circle again to jump. Which just feels weird. Oh, that's... Oh, that's right. Yeah, and then Dark Souls 2 was like, okay, okay, how's this? What if you, uh, hit L3 while running to jump? And, like, wait, that's even worse. Nice spear. Now die. Now die. Please perish. But I'm a spider. Uh, <laughs> that's that's what they all say. Magic grease. Oh, more guys have come to take me down. Please die. Hey, not even begging worked. I think they're a lost cause, honestly. Oh, he's 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 going crazy. Oh, whoa, 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 did we just experience a breaking automaton? Uh, es essentially, yeah, he like kind of... Okay, please heal. Went, oh, uh, you did, okay. I did, don't worry. I know what's important. And he was about to go crazy again. Alright. Fell for their fun little trap, we all had a little joke, a little laugh, haha, -ha, alright. Was no. somebody like revving up that little mini motorcycle of a person? <laughs> you know those little zippy things you hear at like midnight o'clock? Annoying. Crotch rockets. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's a crotch rocket, all right. Rockets your crotch. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> that delivery just is such an AVGN delivery. It's like, yeah, he's a crotch rocket. Rockets your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that person totally fell. Visions of snow. Ooh. You probably can't go on the chandelier, can you? Well, there's a thing there. Oh, there is a there is a board there. I'd much rather you go on that. Right, I mean, yeah, I think I'll drop down to this. Drop board. down one and then the chandelier. The thing is, death perception. I could yep. probably just... Oh, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you're definitely good. And then a little jump here. <laughs> oh, we're good there. And there is our Academy Glintstone Key. Great. That's what we came here for? Yeah. Oh, perfect. So we came, that's exactly what we came here for. I was we hoping we... We even got the last uh, key to the to the third... To the, uh, well, fourth belt, uh, belfry. So that's really good, too. Oh. So we can check that out on the way as well. Excellent. How about that? How about that? We're getting a lot done in Leerany today. Let me tell you what. You likey. Because we, we've we we've essentially crossed into the second arc of of uh, season two. I mean, now that we're keeping track of arcs, it's the Raya Lucaria arc. We're gonna see everything that uh, that we missed here. Well, I, I guess ignored. You know, seeing all that it has to offer. Well, it did take us an entire season to get started. And now that we've started, we're going. This is all about going, man, because we're going hard. Hey, buddy. Back to learn another. Wonderful. You're most welcome to any of my anemic little spells. So the thing about Thops is that he's a, like, a fundamentalist kind of guy. He has high faith, and you can't do high faith in Raya Lucari when you need high intelligence. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my... Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this. D I mean, that's that's fine. Yeah, to the place to the north. Okay, Raya Lucaria, okay. I've, 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 I've already been here. I've already felled their queen, bro. How about the key? Why not find yourself a glintstone key? You mean, just did. like this? Man, you're so behind. Is this why you're failing all your classes, Thops? Find an extra glintstone key, perhaps. Once you've tied up all your loose ends. You mean like this? <laughs> no, guy. No, guy. You are a guy who will tie up our loose ends. I'm a blunt stone. A blunt stone. Is that an insult in this world? Probably one who can't do shit with magic. Like Muggle or whatever. Oh, I'm just a a whetstone. You're willing to give your glintstone key to me. My oh my, thank you, thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the academy. He locked himself out of his dorm. What a maroon. I'm the very stars. <laughs> yep. You go back to school and study the stars and do all that. Erudition. Erudition. 
Erudition. <laughs> so what's that look like? Erudition. Write uh, that down. Okay. Erudition. Erudition. Okay, thanks, Thops. Oh, are you, you okay? Oh, nope, he's in... It, uh, he has completed his mission. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress... Oh, he knows Selen. Probably chat with her later once we unlock more stuff. But right now, we're doing things around here. I don't like what she's buying. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers under the name of the Graven Witch. Go oh, come on. All the gods are making a vie for this place. The Graven Witch is a great name. All right, well, thanks, buddy. I hope I hope you uh, do well in your studies. How did so many people die in there? I don't know. Maybe we thought they could fight him. Can you fight him? I don't know. I never tried. <laughs> can you actually, uh, and this is just in general, can you fight NPCs? You can fight anybody in this game. So if you, like, start slashing at them, they'll go, hey, fuck off, and then kill you. Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll attack you if, if they become hostile, and that's why you have the Church of Vows. So if you ever do something that pisses off an NPC and they become hostile, you request absolution. Trust me, I've had to do many a thing like that in Dark Souls 1. Alright. Now. Let's get to some story bullshit. Okay. We're going to the village of the Albanorix. The Albanorix are like artificial people that Ray Lucario tried to make and they failed and they, they, they're, let's say, that's... Just abominations right now? Yeah, yeah, basically. Gideon, uh, Ofnir, over in the round table hold, might have been responsible for the blight upon this place. Like, these perfumers might be working in his name, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Please, I need, I'm, I'm trying to tell people something. More proof that Mikola was here, probably trying to save the people from this blight, but if you go back here... Is that a potman? You find this skull. Oh. Hmm. Seem to be a lot of messages around here. Try rolling. Didn't expect death, why is it always despair? Visions of suffering. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then, you're not one of them. No, well, no, I'm, I'm not here to kill you. What a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus, an Albinoric, as you can see. We're finished. Sort of. The whole village is finished. Does Albanoric mean, like, hunchback? It, I think it's kind of like a homunculus. Perhaps. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse-monger's hands. Okay. The Holligatry Secret Medallion. Only the right one. And if you should meet the young Albanoric Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land awaits us. So what was in the skull that we picked up? Nothing, that was a red herring. They wanted you to go for the pot. The pot was the big thing. I think he makes a noise like, oh, oh. So if you slash it, does it kill him accidentally? I don't know. I think maybe that slash just disposes of his disguise. Okay. I was just thinking, if this is story stuff and you accidentally kill a storyline... This yes. Morwen brought brought that to the table. That's about the only RPG I know that could kill off a main storyline. Yeah, you can lock out quest lines pretty easily in this game. God! In, in all from soft games, to be honest. God! Yeah. Well, that's Albus. He he died with his last parting oh. wish for us to get this medallion to some lady named Latena, the last hope of the Albanurix. Time to sell it! Time to sell it! How much you give me for this? I'll give you five pence. That's more than I had! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> you okay? Not even gonna get for a five bucks! <laughs> <It's a> sold! <laughs> now that I've mentioned Morrowind, that just brings me back to uh, my one friend who. <laughs> Back in middle school, he's the one that originally got me into speedrunning by showing me Morrowind speedruns. Oh. 
Hello, disgusting monsters. I don't like the fact that you guys are coming after me. But, uh, basically he showed me how in the beginning of Morrowind you can essentially steal everything from the guards, sell it back to them to make a profit, go find the boots of blinding speed, and run straight to the end of the game. <laughs> Fantastic. That's how people, uh, beat the game in like eight minutes. Yep. It's great. This is the Lakeside Crystal Cave. Alright, alright. This place is important. Ooh. How important is it, UDJ? Well, it's the next city. We're looking for Latena, right? The yeah, Alpha yeah. Latena. she in here? She is here. This is where she is. And there's a bunch of people here who are manic and trying to kill us. They're very rude. They're like demi humans of some sorts. Uh, weak is what I see them as, actually. Well, we're, we've got plenty of, uh,. Plenty of power to take them all on. I was just thinking, are we a tad over leveled for this section? Yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're good here. Probably gonna take this guy no problem. Oh, good lord! It's gonna take me a little bit. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, bit hi, person just came okay. out of nowhere. And well, 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 well. Okay, quit. And Stop. yet they're still able to get close to killing you. Well, that's how ambushes work in this game. No problems here. A spear talisman! Ooh. I don't think this really does anything that... Up spear damage, maybe? Enhances counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons. Oh, I don't, I don't have a so. thrusting weapon unless you're talking about this right here, and Sounds. then you pelvic thrust towards the waterfall. Sounds useless! Great side quest that we're doing. <laughs> Hi, guys! Oh, you guys must have heard what was happening. I'm sorry I took your thrust emblem. That was ours! Ah! I hope you don't uh, have any fear of heights. Oh, I do, but I will brave them for this playthrough. Well, don't worry, I'm the one in charge. We're fine. Just gotta know where and how to drop. It requires a lot of knowledge for how the knowledge the engine works. Did that's, I ever tell you that death. I I actually felt vertigo during a video game? Really? I mean, I, I, for, for this one, I think you'd feel it, because everything feels so big. I snail! Oh, hi, snail friend. Goodbye, snail friend. There's no friend. No friend of ours. I was playing... Oh, God, what's it called? There's a gun rhythm game on VR that I played. But the thing is, you're basically just... You're shooting to the beat the entire time. But you can actually look over the edge, and it's just a void. <laughs> And I looked over accidentally and went, Huh? <laughs> oh. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Don't look down. Moss. Moss. Jesus, that's a lot of s uh, snails. I almost said slugs. What is a slug but a snail without a home? I don't think that's how that works, but... Yeah. I, it, close enough. I was about to make the comparison, is it a, just a snail without a shell? It's, I mean, it sounds metaphorical, you know, doesn't it? It sounded actually philosophical when you said it. Right, yeah, you know? What is a slug but a snail without a home? So are you a slug? Or are you a, a snail? snail? Seek rolling, ah, that looks like, oh wait, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Down here. Yeah. Okay. And take... That and down Ooh, here pot. and take Smithing Stone. Okay. Smithing okay. Stone. And lump of flesh. Ew. There's a few snails over here thinking they can get the Hello, jump on you. Nope. Surprisingly okay. oh. speedy boys. I guess we can't really go for the stereotypical snail. I think dexterous is the word. I don't know. Maybe being rocks kind of helps a little bit. Maybe. Maybe uh, being about the size of a man might help too. Having uh, larger muscles that are able That's to go true. greater distances. Maybe their slime is actually crystals, and they act like ball bearings. Maybe it's vol maybe it's bullshit video game logic. Yeah, I'm down for that. I like Bloodhound Knights here. Oh, hello. Oh, these guys again. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, about that. About that. Uh, getting health back. Well, let's get that back. I'd like to get the flask of cerulean tears. Oh. I can't summon Lutel! Excuse me, fuckface! Can you fuck off? 
All right, fine. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Did not give him any time to breathe here. Very, very fast. Okay, that was good, that was good. It was a quarter of the health bar. The bleed, though, is gonna build up if I don't do this right. Okay. Bleed will kill we're me good, if you hit me good. with it. Slash. Stamina back. Okay. Chased him pretty good though. Hoop. Fall. So close. So close. Get him. Get him. Get him. Right. And wait for it. He's gonna come towards you. you let me drink. <laughs> Why did you let me drink? You gave me all the time in the room. Why? A cerulean amber medallion. Nice. Oh, we're not gonna fight the boss in there? That was the boss. I'm such an idiot. I didn't even see you go through the... <laughs> to go there, through the fog. There wasn't one. It just happened. But wait, there was just fog in there. Well, now there was, because he showed up. Oh, now, if and I it, were to go it, back clo there, it closed you in. There okay. was a surprise boss, you see. Oh! Uh, hello. Hello, miss. Uh... I am here on behalf of your people. Fell tarnished. Hey, hey, hey. That's rude. I I'd hurt my feelings. That I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my Aww. other not enough? Yeah, her poor little wolfie died. No. Uh, t t now, I'm not... T t check it. See, I got your medallion here. So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. He's not dead. No, he's dead. He's very dead. It's 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 fine. He's trying trying to soften the blow here. Uh, there's uh, there's no soft blows here. Oh, okay. Apology accepted. Like, don't worry. We're different. We're kind of like working on on a different set of wheels here. You know. You are no longer foul tarnished. You are just fucking idiot. I think that bloodhound brute, that bloodhound knight, was the brute that she was talking about. The guy who just attacked us, I think that he was like, WHERE'S THE MEDALLION?! Taken care of! Killed the wolf, too, and all that. NO! The medallion's better off in your hands, anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must sure. There is something I must do. Even if I must say Oh, the rain washed off all my viscera. Will you show me the way? Great effect. To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. Mikola's Halig Tree. I would gladly apprise you. Uh, okay. Well, let's hear what you gotta say. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the earth tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants. Uh huh. Accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Do go on. It's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. So, the tenor, the Albanoric, <sighs> has joined us. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. We have an archer. Seeing as how, uh, Littell isn't... We're, we're not strong enough to deal with Littell at the moment. We'll go ahead and add Latena instead. Which I still don't think we're strong enough for, but... Eh. No, oh, wait, wait, we got enough. Yeah, we got yeah, enough. We're good. We need 104, we have 91, so... We're close. That's that, that's okay. Well, that was Latena, the Albanoric. She wants us to... Go, see, see uh, yeah, alright. <clears throat> you know how we have, like, the, the Dectus hold here? Yeah, yeah, Where we needed two, the two halves of the Dectus medallion? Well, all the way over here, somewhere past the capital city... There's another hole, uh, another lift called the, the Grand Lift of Rold, and that takes you north, to the tippy top of the mountains that oversee all of the lands between the mountain tops of the giants, but there's a secret medallion, that takes you right to Mikola's Halig Tree. <laughs> Mikola's Halig Tree. Oh, we will get there, my fine friend. Cool. We will get there. And thank you for calling me fine. 
Oh, you are very fine. Well, all right. I think that's about all we're going to do for right now for this episode of Elden Ring. Next time on Elden Ring, we've got to get some power. we got to find some things and do some stuff, and before too long, we'll probably find my arch nemesis at this game. Hmm. I can't wait to see that. Because some bosses have been kicking your ass, but I've never heard of an actual rival. Oh, yes. You'll see why soon enough. See you next time.